Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm actually going to be showing you something pretty cool, but it is quite an early prototype, so don't expect too much greatness here. There's going to be a lot of compatibility issues, and on top of that, this also does not have saving right now, but I'm going to be showing you all how to use the NESBOX emulator on the Xbox One. Yes, this is an actual old console emulator on here. Now, at the moment, this is currently compatible with Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive for people across the pond. I have to also use the word compatibility lightly because this is such an early prototype and it is a in-browser emulator. It does not have the best compatibility, so don't expect all of your games to magically work, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So to get started, you're going to need your Xbox One, the account for your Xbox One, which you can access on your computer, and you're going to need to get the ROMs that you want to play. Now, because of copyright reasons, I cannot help you out. I cannot supply you with any places to get ROMs, and of course, you should be using this for backup purposes like I am showing right here. However, once you get a hold of your ROMs, you need to make sure they are a appropriate extension. So they can't be in a .zip archive or anything like that. It has to be an actual extension. And when you have those ROM files, you need to get to a computer, log into that account that is coinciding with your Xbox One account, and access OneDrive. You want to upload the ROMs over to your OneDrive account, and once those are uploaded, you can now go to your Xbox One. Now once you're over at your console, you want to go ahead and load up the Microsoft Edge web browser. And when you load that up, you want to go to the following website, which is on screen. It is nesbox.itch.io forward slash x1. Now once you load up the website, it's going to just have this black box right here, and once it loads up, just wait a few seconds and it will bring up the emulator. Now what you need to do is you need to press the start button, go to use browsing controls, and then go to add a file from OneDrive. And what's going to do is it's going to log into the OneDrive account for your Xbox One account. If you get an unauthorized error, just press the B button and it will refresh. And once it refreshes, you should be in your OneDrive. Now you want to go ahead and load up the file that you have available. So go ahead, select it, hit open. And what it's going to do is it's going to load it into the browser back on the Nesbox website. Once it loads up, you can go ahead, select it, press the A button, and it will load up your ROM successfully hopefully successfully. Remember, there are a lot of compatibility issues with this. Now what you can do is you can also load up full screen and you can go back to use game controls and then there you can play your ROM in full screen on your Xbox One. So it is as easy as that. The hardest part here, honestly, is just getting the ROMs onto your OneDrive account. Once you have that, as long as they work, you're good to go at that point. Now again, I have to stress this is very early on. This is a prototype. There are a lot of things missing on here. There's a lot of game compatibility issues. There's no saving on here. This is a really awesome proof of concept though, so you have to keep that in mind, but don't expect 100% or even anywhere close to 100% compatibility for these systems. You also might notice a lot of games, if you load them up, they might just give you a black screen or they might crash out or do anything. That is going to be expected, so as long as you understand that, it's still a pretty neat thing to play around with. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, a like would be appreciated, and if you absolutely hate it and you hate these old games because I mean, look at how pixelated this is, man. A dislike is also okay to show your disdain. But if you've also played with Nesbox on the Xbox One, let me know in the comments section and tell us some of the games that you've been playing so we can actually get a nice compatibility list of some kind going. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off for real this time. Later, everyone.